Step one, stay alive. Step two, think about not doing something like that again. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we are installing Jack and Dexter, the PC version. Uh, you wanna go to this website here. Um, I will have it in the description below, open goal. Um, and from there, we are going to download the program, the open goal program. Now, prerequisite is you're going to need the Decky Loader expansion in your Steam Deck. And if you need to do that, look in the description below, you'll find a link to a video and I show you how to install Decky Loader. It's a great little add-on to your Steam Deck and it's absolutely required. So click that little down arrow and get the Decky Loader version. Um, I know it's kind of annoying to do the Decky version for some of you, but honestly, it's the best way to have these games installed because you don't really want to use their forward menu loader, like their, their loader. It's better to do it this way. Oh, I promise you that that's much cleaner. Now, you're also going to need the ISO uh, for this game. I'm I'm very lucky that I own a copy of uh, Jack and Dexter, the pre a precursor legacy. Um, and I can't tell you where to find a copy because Sony technically sells it on PSN. So it's not abandoned where. But I'm sure you'll find it if you look hard enough for it. So what you want to do is go back into desktop mode and go to general, into the settings, and then go to general for the decky. And what you want to do is you're going to turn on developer mode. And then once you've done that, you're going to get down to developer. And then you're going to install plugin from zip, which is what we've just downloaded, okay? So then you're going to go into your downloads folder where I had it, download it and install it. Done. Easy as. Now we're going to go back to desktop mode and put our ISO in the correct folder. So the folder we're looking for is um, ISOs and that's under home and open goal. Pretty easy to find and if you need to just pause the video and look up the top and follow the directory. Now once you've pasted the file in here, you are going to have to rename it. So to rename it, um, right click it, we'll pull the left trigger and then go to rename. And what we're going to do is we're going to rename it to Jack1. Now make sure it's all undercase, no capitals, because the first time I did this, I did a capital J and uh, it caused me a world of pain because it wouldn't, in Decky Loader, when I went back to game mode to install the game, it didn't recognize it. It has to be exactly Jack1 or under, you know, no caps. Um, so Big step there, don't forget that. Uh, and so to bring up the keyboard, if you're not sure, you don't remember, you hold the Steam button and push X, and that will bring up your keyboard. And then once we've done that, we can quit back and go to game mode, which we are now back in with the magic of editing. And then we'll head down to our open goal, and as you can see, we can now install it. And this doesn't actually take too long at all, maybe a minute or so. Honestly, it's pretty quick and, and painless. Um, and the reason I say that is I was trying to do it through the Open Goal Launcher and then have that added to Steam. Unfortunately, I was having issues where it was causing a white screen. I'm not sure why it was doing that. Um, and so it was unviable to suggest that to uh, people using Steam Decks with a broken launcher because you could technically still click on the play button But it didn't work. So this here I think is the correct way to do it um, And then once you've installed it you can go you can see there's a shortcut maker just below And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on create jack one shortcut and once it, you do that It will ask you to restart your Steam Deck um, and that's what I'm going to do here so once I've uh, clicked the button and clicked restart we'll see you back back at the main menu if you're finding this video helpful please give me a like and a sub or a comment and see if there's anything else you'd like me to do um so please catch it here so we are we've rebooted our steam deck and uh we're heading down here as you can see it says it's installed and it's put the file in so let's go to our library head over to our non-steam and there it is They've done it for us, it's all ready to go, and we'll push, push play. And then we're just gonna do the opening little bit of the game and uh, and play a little bit. As you can see here, it, it opened behind for some weird reason, so if you have that issue, that's how you get to it. Just push the Steam button, and it has the open apps at the top. 
Um, I just put on the frame rate here. It's a pretty much a solid 60. Um, and there's a couple of options because this is the PC version. You can additionally add mods and other things if you do it through the... Um, there's the, the Deki installer way that we've just done, and there's also through uh, like a, a loader app that they have. Um, that was my original way of doing this, but when you put the loader app into game mode, it doesn't work. Like it comes up with a white screen, and uh, I couldn't figure out why it was doing that. So I decided to go with this way, which is technically easier, but it doesn't give you um, access to the mods in texture packs that you would otherwise get unless you add them in manually into the folder which you could do and if you're interested in that and you want to see what some of those texture packs are maybe let me know in the comments below and i can have a play around and also show you guys how to add those texture pads packs and mods um to your game so we'll jump in here um, I'm just playing around. I didn't realize I had a saved. It saved from the last time I was testing it. So I was like, whoops. And as you can see here, this game looks really nice on Steam Deck. Like, um, it's like it belongs here. It absolutely looks stunning and uh, makes me very happy to, to bring back those 2000s memories of playing Jack and Dexter. Um, there's just something about this series that, you know... It, it makes you feel good, right? It, and I think another reason for that is we've just had Astro Bot release, um, which is in this vein of, you know, just a good old platformer, which we just, you just don't get these days. And this one is, you know, now that's on P, the PC port, um, is just, it looks so good. It runs really well. I would definitely do this over the PS2 emulated version, like, the hands down this is the better way to play it um and i can't wait for them to get jack 3 because i i'm gonna be honest here i've never played jack 3 so uh or jack Ra uh jack and dexter racing so you know i've got two two jack and dexter games i haven't played how naughty am i um so yeah as you can see here the gameplay is pretty good it runs pretty smooth and uh yeah so if you found this helpful, please leave, give me a like, give me a comment, give me a sub, and, and you know, let me know what you think of this video, if it was too fast, too slow, uh, not detailed enough, um, please let me know in the comments below, and I can go back and do more videos on this if you're having any issues or whatever, but honestly, this is a great way to play Jack and Dexter in the 2024, and uh, good luck with uh, playing some some retro games which i feel like are just the way to be at the moment all right guys i'm gonna leave this gameplay running in the background for you guys to like have some remembrance of uh, and maybe get you itching to get play again but if not thank you once again for watching and i'll see you in the next video all right guys catch you later break boxes and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them Notice how each blue eco-cluster you pick up increases the time you can use its power. This is a precursor door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue eco through your body. Eco-Vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters, this vent will give you a full charge of Blue Eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. Good work! The Blue Eco caused the door to open. With Blue Eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have lain dormant for years. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of Eco. 
Pick up 50 small green ecos, or one big green one to increase your health. You can jump once, then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. Training, boys, but that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. Ah, uh, then no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far. boxes are thicker than a yakow skull, but there must be something that can bust them open. Hey! That pelican just snagged a power cell! Let's go kick some big birds! 